hip hop drill, the three points of defense. So if Jason has me in an ankle lock, I'm just gonna feature my ankle here, Jay. Awesome. Good work, pal. So if Jason has the ankle lock on me, there's three things that I always want to do. The very first thing is I want to show the toes. I want to show the toes. What do I mean by that? I want to bring my toes up here so I can see my toes. You see how I want to create flexion here on the front of my ankle. I want to bring my toes up to the sky here. Why? It's because Jason is trying to bend my foot out this way and it's going to give me a little bit of time. All right? So I want to show the toes. The second thing is I want to grab. I want to grab on to something. Now if Jason executes the ankle lock here and he has his hands together, this is for him to execute the ankle lock. This is the perfect position for him. Do you see how all he has to do is just look away here and then he can tap me out. What I need to do is I need to stop him from looking away and extending his body. A couple of ways to do that. You can grab the lapel. With the kimono, that's the best thing I can do. I just grab onto his lapel here and just pull him in. If he's not wearing a jacket, if he doesn't have a kimono jacket on, I can grab his neck. This works out well. The most plausible thing without a kimono is I grab onto his wrist or I grab onto his arm. This is the most plausible. All right? So the first thing, show the toes. Show the toes. The second thing is I grab. I grab, grab onto his lapels, grab onto his jacket, I grab onto his head, onto his neck here, or the most, most plausible, grab onto his wrist or his elbow or his arm, okay, especially with no gi. The third thing I want to do is I want to try and stand up. I want to pose on my hand. I want to bring my heel as close to my hip as possible. I want to sit up like this. The chances of Jason finishing the ankle lock while I'm on top and he's on his back like this are much slimmer. Okay, this is much better for me if I can stand up. So, you want to, thank you Jason, show the toes, grab something, and then stand up. Now we want to work this in a dynamic fashion. So, can I have your ankle please Jason? When I have Jason's ankle, and remember when as, as I do this drill, I just want to control here, his ankle like this. So I'm just clamping down with my elbow, in between my elbow and my rib cage. I don't actually want to execute the ankle lock like this. After a while, this is really going to aggravate Jason's ankle. All right, he'll be sore for the next few days. So, by just clamping down like this, not only am I exercising control, but as well, Jason and I can do this drill all day long. Jason is going to do the three things to keep himself safe. He's going to show the toes here. He's going to grab, he's going to grab onto my neck, he's going to grab onto my, my wrist or whatever, and then he's going to try and stand up. Now, as he tries to stand up, do you see how I want to flare my foot out? The reason why I want to try and keep my shin inside here of his knee and underneath his hamstring is that it's tough for him to bring his heel close to his hip, or it's tougher for him to try and stand up. From here, do you see how, sit back down please, Jason, here. See, do you see how from here, it's really tough for him to grab onto me. Can you grab onto me, please, Jason? Thank you. Here, and then to clear this foot up off of his hip. He may have to use that far hand just to push this off. It is easier for him to post with one hand and to push with that hand. It is easier. But then he can't grab on. All right, so we're here. Exactly. So he's grabbing onto me here. You see how he has to use that far hand to push that foot up and then off. Now, before he's able to stand up, you see what I'm doing? I'm going to keep his heel up or keep his knee up so he keeps his heel up and off the floor. I'm still controlling his leg. I reach with this hand, goes for his ankle. If I have both of his ankles, it's really tough for him to stand up. It's really, really tough. And then I switch to this side right away. He's going to show his toes. Here, that's it. it gives him some life. Here, grab on, grabs onto me. He's going to try to stand up just like this. Before he's able to grab his ankle, switch. He's going to show his toes. He's going to try and grab on. He's going to try and stand up. See, I grab his heel before he stands up. So he's going to show his toes. Grabs onto me, tries to stand up. So I grab his ankle before he stands up. Good work. You see how I'm putting lots of pressure through my knees. He's trying to stand up. I grab his ankle before he can stand up. Good. He's going to show his toes. Grabs onto me. Grab his ankle before he can stand up. Awesome. 
So this drill is good for both of us in the sense that it allows Jason to exercise the three critical points of defense, showing the toes, grabbing, and then standing up. Do you see it's good for me too because it allows me to exercise the ankle lock from the right side to the left side and as well allows me to counter all of his basic defenses, all right, by showing the toes, trying to grab something, trying to stand up, all right, I'm able to go and just transition to the other ankle lock as a counter attack, all right, so the ankle lock hip hop drill with the three critical points of defense.